What's up guys, Black Hole Zero and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Soccer Manager 2019 for the 10th stage of the Giro d'Italia between Ravenna and Modena, 147 kilometers, the flattest stage you'll ever see I think on the Giro, um, yeah, if you haven't seen the previous episodes of this tour then please go ahead and do so, check the time trial that I uploaded yesterday, it really is one worth to watch, uh, it, it, it clearly is like the most important stage of this Giro uh, as of yet so uh, yeah hopefully uh, you've watched it and if you did thank you um, but yeah enough talking let's jump straight to the race and see if we can do anything and this 10th stage is started um, I'm not gonna lie I don't think it's gonna be the most interesting stage you've ever seen because there's nothing to play for um, there's gonna be a breakaway Peloton is gonna reel in it um, bunch sprint will take fourth place End of the story. I, d I don't think that's gonna like there's gonna be any difference to the scenario I just like exposed. Um, we do have an attempt at a breakaway though, with uh, Enrico Gasparotto, Nico Dens, and uh, Marco Cornola. Was one of them winner? Did any one of them win the stage? I know there was a break, like there was a breakaway on the tenth stage. Um, can I please like have them to like stop? Um, who won? Wait, did they finish like second and third? Oh, they did, because Mattia Cataneo had won the stage. Okay, well, Brooklyn didn't like do anything. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna fast forward. And I think I'll probably see you for the sprint. Right, and as mentioned uh, at the start of the of the stage, uh, nothing happened. There's a breakaway though. They stayed about a minute ahead. Mattia Cataneo and uh, Damiano Chima. Uh, your usual breakaway guys from this Giro d'Italia. Not gonna lie, uh, could have taken a nap, probably wouldn't have missed anything. Um, but hey, that's the beauty of the Giro, isn't it? We're going to make our train uh, for this print. Um, we're gonna have Pedro following Valerio and Yoli, and Yoli is going to follow Andrea Garozio, and Garozio is gonna pace. Alright, our train is done. Um, and Yuri, can you take someone's wheel, please? Can you do your work? Thank you. Uh, turn Dumoulin. Um, uh, yeah, I was about to say that's Caleb Ewan, but no, because Dumoulin is now wearing the uh, the Cyclamen jersey. After he took it from yesterday's time trial, um, which if you haven't seen it, then please watch it. I'm just going to show you the GC right now. Uh, with Nibali leading 113 ahead of Dumoulin, of uh, Rugly Troy, 232 ahead of Dumoulin. 444 4 ahead of Garuzo, then 504 ahead of uh, Davide Formolo. So, yeah, very solid performance yesterday from the guys on the time trial. Uh, as we approach the final line in Modena, um, home of a, uh, a racing track, if I'm correct. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure there's a racing track in Modena uh, or something like automobile related. Gonna use the. Can I use the gel? Oh. There we go. And the sprint is on the way. I completely messed up my train. Uh, I'm way too slow. But no one cares. Because we're gonna take top 4. Uh, I hope. No, I might actually not take top 4. No, we won't. We'll take top 5 though. Is that top 5? Wait, it might actually. <laughs> it actually is 4th place as well. We've taken 4th position, yeet! Gregor Bolle takes 4th. Viviani wins from Giacomo Nizzolo, Enrico Batalin, Gregor Bolle, and Arden Emar in 5th place. Caleb Ewan takes 9th. Vincenzo Nibali takes 10th. I called it. I called it. I said we're gonna take 5th. Uh, we're gonna take 4th. And we did. We did. I mean, yeah, just a solid uh, performance all around. Uh, but victory for Elia Viviani, the Italian champion, getting um, a stage win on his home tour. It's uh, an all-Italian podium with Giacomo Nizzolo and Enrico Battaglin uh, alongside him in Modena. I'm happy with 4th and 10th, I guess. Vincenzo anybody stays leader. I mean, nothing changed GC-wise. Uh, Mountain-wise, nothing changed. There was no KOMs. It's still Lorenzo Rota from Bardiani CSF. 
points wise Caleb Ewan is now uh, in second position and he's going to get this jersey back is tied with Elia Viviani no? with Elia Viviani sorry uh, with 82 points for both riders best young rider is still Miguel Angel Lopez best team still Baran Merida I don't even think anyone was dropped today ah Damiano Di Simo was had to it's a shame uh, but yeah, he's your top 10 for today's stage. Uh, Viviani needs a low battle in Burley, Demar, Chimolai, Gaviria, Ackerman, Calabu, and, and Vincenzo. Anybody? I mean, if there was not really anything to enjoy during that stage, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I don't even know how long the video is because I just skipped from like kilometer 5 to what, kilometer 127. Um, but yeah, that was it for the 10th stage. Tomorrow we'll. For fuck's sake, give me mountain! It's gonna be a sprint, 206 kilometers between Carpi and Novi Ligure. Uh, probably the same scenario as today, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but if you did enjoy the video, then please leave a like down below, uh, get involved in the comments, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, hit the bell to get notified of whenever I upload a video. Um, and uh, I guess I'll see you tomorrow for the 11th stage of the Giro d'Italia. But until then, I've been Blackwall, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you today guys, and goodbye.